Hey everybody, welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. This is Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. So this is part one of this piece that I made using everything in the June DD art box. A couple of you have been asking for a video. I always make a video of the art boxes. I usually put them out the second or third week of the month. And we are going to go over everything that you are gonna get in this fabulous box. You are gonna get the Dee Dee Agate Tray Mold. You're gonna get this Best Friend Glitter, Siren Song Glitter, a 30 milliliter of the Silver Metallic Color Cream, a full size of the Waterfall Fantasy Film, sample of Minty. You're gonna get 10 grams of the Darkest Green, 10 grams of the Shabby Chic Green, pigment and 10 grams of antique lace mica pigment and this is what the waterfall fantasy film looks like when you take it out kind of teal green blues even some kind of like lime neon colors there so this is the darkest green i'm going to show you guys me mixing these up because i know this looks really blue when you first open it but i promise when you mix it with the resin like magic it turns to a really beautiful dark green it's just stunning I love really dark, deep colors, and this is just a stunning green, just beautiful. As always, you want like a 10% ratio of mica pigma to, pigment to resin, and just make sure you stir it really, really, really well. Depending on the viscosity of your resin, if it's really sticky and thick, you just wanna really make sure you're scraping any of that mica off the sides, off your stick. And we're just gonna go around the outside perimeter of the mold here. I did not lay any clear down beforehand because I know I want this side facing up to be our side that's gonna be visible. This is a really nice mold for like a small tray. You could put like a candle in the middle there or this could be used in your bathroom for like your jewelry, your watches or on your night side table. Okay, we're gonna do some shabby chic green here. I wanted to pop some bubbles first though. All right, so there's the shabby sheet green in the resin. I'm gonna mix this up again so you can see it. I did not use any antique lace in this piece or any siren song. So those are the only two that I did not use in this piece. And this is gonna be a two-parter. Okay, there you can see the shabby chic. This is going to be a two-part video because I did do two layers. And so this is our first layer that we're gonna focus on in this video. So two really beautiful greens. I would say they're both kind of on the cool side. So they go together really well. That fantasy film will um, react to heat. So it'll cinch up. You might've seen it kind of moving there as I move my heat gun around, it will react to heat. And I'm just cutting a few strips off of my piece here. And you get like 10 feet of this stuff. It's like four inches by 10 feet. So you get so much of this. You can layer it on top of each other. I'm just sort of um, cutting strips here and laying it around the shape. And I knew I wanted some of this fantasy film to sort of peek out. It almost looks like it's glowing underneath the resin. So I'm just gonna tap it lightly in there. Sometimes bubbles can form underneath. I wasn't too worried about that since we are going to do another layer of resin. And we're gonna start drizzling some of our already mixed up pigmented resin around it. This is the darkest green again. I just really wanted to have it nice and married into the piece so you couldn't really see like the edges of where I cut the pieces. I wanted it to look really or organic and part of the heart and soul of the piece. And a little bit more of the shabby chic green drizzling over. Hitting really quick with heat so that we don't cinch up that fantasy film too much. I did want it to be flush in there and not crinkly. All right, and here comes some of the best friend glitter. I decided to do this around the inside edge. This glitter is so fun. It's all round circle pieces, multi-sized, multi-colored. It is holographic, which I didn't realize until I made this piece. Get some awesome sparkle with this glitter and it does have its sister glitter birthday cake, which is more kind of like gold, magenta, purples. And this is more blue, purple, gold, greens. And it goes really nice in this piece with all of these colors. But we're gonna have that be our center and still drizzling more over top. And now to leave some clear pockets so that we can see that fantasy film poking through, I am gonna drizzle on just some clear resin. 
continually hitting with heat so we're popping any bubbles and this is where I'm just laying in that clear With bigger, deeper molds like this, I do find, I usually do opt to do two layers. Um, in a mold like this, where you have edges, instead of doing like a piece on a board, you know, that resin is gonna kind of push off the sides back into itself. So you will notice that a lot of our fantasy film on the outside edges does get kind of lost a little with that darkest green sort of being pushed back in towards the piece. We also lose a little bit of the shabby chic as well as that darker green pushes off the edges into the piece. Here's some work that I've already done. I laid in some of the silver metallic and now I'm just kind of trying to form a shape following along with the basic shape of the mold. I try to wait till it's pretty sticky. You can see the resin is pretty well getting sticky. It's curing up um, to sort of try to make these shapes and have them last in here. I did lose a couple of these lines and things like that as the piece moved. Uh, but again, you'll kind of see how it all comes together once I do that second layer. And just pouring in some more of that clear right over where I know that fantasy film is because I want to push the pigmented resin off of it so that we can really see that fantasy film peeking through. I love that glitter so much. I just think it's so fun. <laughs> It's so pretty. I love the circular shape. It just gives it a different look. So pretty. Just doing a little bit of finishing touches here. And as it was getting pretty sticky, I knew that I wanted to see more of that fantasy film peeking through and I was afraid I was gonna lose it. So I'm gonna cut just a few more little pieces here and kind of lay it. This one I sort of tried to tuck in and you'll see it gets like swallowed right up. <laughs> So the other ones I kind of lay right on top. And you can see there are the little pink hearts there to the side, little keychain molds. That was a little surprise thank you mold in my last box, in the May box. And you are gonna get a little surprise keychain mold in this box as well. This is my birthday month, June. And I really love um, skulls, especially big kind of animal skulls like cattle or antelope or deer, stag heads. So it is, you'll have something like that as a little surprise in your box. And these are selling out while I'm making this video right now. I only have 15 left. So if you're thinking of getting one, please head over there. I do ship these internationally. I just shipped two to Australia yesterday. So I will send them internationally to you. And yeah, just kind of laying just little pieces. Cause again, I just kind of wanted it to peek through and I wanted it to feel organic and not be really structured pieces of that fantasy film. The waterfall fantasy film is such a beautiful one. They're all really pretty in their own right, but um, this is just a really nice, cool one. A lot of the other ones have more warm tones, and I really like this fantasy film a lot. So here we're gonna see a little video of the piece finished outside. So you'll see part two is gonna come here in a couple of days. Make sure you click the link in the video or in the description. And of course we started to get a little bit of a sun shower right as I was filming this. So those are raindrops. This is not part of the piece and it was an overcast day. So we're kind of not getting too much sparkle. I'm hoping to get better video um, outside for part two. So then I came in, I dried it off and I did some video under my light. Look at the fantasy film under there peeking out. Beautiful. It does look like it's glowing in there. Look at our sparkle from that best friend glitter. Like I said, I didn't realize it was very holographic until I got it under my ring light. So anyway, guys, head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get your art box before they sell out. Everything is linked in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and keep on pouring.